Hello everybody and welcome back to my art journaling channel. Um, today I'm working in my Dina Wakeley Blue Edition media journal and I'm working on the lovely um, cotton bag water paper. It's really thick, it's beautiful and textured, I really like it. Um, I have applied a thin layer of gesso to the page and then you can see I'm starting to create dots and I am using the end of a blending tool and the end of a pencil. And I started off with Dina Wakeley Media Paint in Ruby and then I've started using Tangerine. I decided I was going to build a background doing this using rainbow colours. Um, so I basically just worked my way through the rainbow colours. So next I've gone Lemon using both the end of the blending tool and the end of the pencil. And then Lime. And just building up the collection of dots and where they are, not really overthinking it. And then a sky. Um, I think this is the Amsterdam acrylic in permanent red violet light, my favourite pink. And then um, Dina Wakeley um, Blackberry. Gosh, doesn't that look dark on there? It isn't that dark. It's very lovely. And then I'm just creating some uh, collage tissue paper. I'm just using this Stampers Anonymous uh, text stamp and stamping it onto some tissue paper. I'm then going to stick that down using uh, gel medium. So, I mean, you can do this the other way around. You can put this down on your page first if you like, but because it's on the tissue paper, it does kind of melt away into the page. So um, it meant I was able to put smaller areas of stamping. Um, yeah, so it's quite nice to do it this way around sometimes. So you can see it's starting to build up the interest in the background now. I've got the dots and I've got some text going on. I'm also adding in some of Dina Wakeley's actual um, text collage tissue paper as well. Right, and then I'm drawing a face. So if you are interested, there is a mini class on my website um, where I talk about how I draw the faces in more detail. Um, if you go onto my website, you can find it in the um, online classes section in the shop. So I just kind of play with the shape and everything and where I've put all the uh, features until I'm happy with how it's looking. And then, as you know, if you've followed my channel before, I like to use the Jane Davenport license to quill pen to just draw in the features and then I just usually scribble a bit of it on the mat and um, dilute it down with a bit of water just so that I can add some shadows um, onto the face, just giving it a little bit more depth. So then I've cut it out after I've done that and it's dried. And um, before I do that, I'm using some Tim Holtz uh, Media Marks. Um, stamping from his stamp set <laughs> sorry and the stays on um, ink in fuchsia pink and I'm just um, adding some more mark making onto the background these um, stamp set this stamp set by Tim Holtz is a really good one it's um, great for adding some uh, mark making into your background you know instant instant effect so I'm sticking in the face using a glue stick just using Jane Davenport's palette pastels on the cheeks. That set is called Birthday Suit. Um, then I am using some book paper um, and I've just torn it into little strips and I'm sticking it on the page. So this is where I'm going to write my words. So once I've stuck it down, I then used a bit of watered down gesso just to push away the text a little bit. And then I'm using a Posca pen and I'm writing my words on there and I'm trying to fill the pieces of paper with my lettering. I'm then using a pit marker pen and just adding a little bit of shadow underneath each of the 
strips of paper. And there we go, there's the finished page. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, process video. Thank you for watching.